basically speaking, connecting a sprinkler head to a branch line in Revit is fairly simple. Um, however, there are issues tied to it for, for someone that has been a sprinkler designer for some time. Uh, I guess first and foremost, uh, regardless of what method you use, and, and this is if you're not using an add-in inside of Revit, if, you, if you're just using the tools that Revit provides, every head has to be connected individually. So there's not a, a group connect, so to speak, where you could say select all of these sprinkler heads and then connect them into that pipe. They have to be addressed individually. That in and of itself is a slowdown. If you've only got 20 or 30 sprinkler heads in a job, it's really not that big of a deal. But most projects don't have so few, especially when they're designed in Revit. They tend to be larger. Past that, you have two basic methods in Revit. One is fully manual and one is a little more automated. The fully manual method, it's a, arguably a little slower, however you have more control over the assembly. You could choose whether it's an arm over or a return bend or if it's a down then over and down sort of assembly. Whereas the more automated method, you have less control but it is quicker. So what the manual method looks like I have a pipe here at 11 feet, got a head here at 9, I'm sorry, at uh, 10 feet, and let's just say I want to do a simple arm over. I'll right click on the connector, draw pipe, I'll set this to 1 inch, 11 feet, and then connect right into the pipe. Fairly simple. However, something Revit likes to do is when connecting to a sprinkler head, size the pipe connected to the sprinkler head the same nominal diameter as the sprinkler head. In this case, this is a half inch sprinkler head, so it forced the pipe down to a half inch, even though I had it set to one inch here. So if you do this, you will have to draw it and then potentially go to another view maybe where you see that pipe a little better and change it. So it's not simple draw and move on. It's draw, correct, and then move on. Now we could try and limit the minimum pipe size in Revit. And, and this sounds reasonable. We can say we don't want any pipes smaller than one inch. And we'll do exactly the same thing. One inch. See, now here I didn't have to change it. It just automatically went to one inch. So that seems promising. But then I get this error. And what that error is telling me is this pipe doesn't exist, so we're going to draw it anyway, but with no real specs attached to it. So it's not even a normal Schedule 40 half inch pipe. It's just, you can see here, the inside and outside diameters are half inch. So no matter what you do with your routing preference, Revit is going to force this to the same diameter as your sprinkler head. And then you'd have to still have to come and size it on up. Now I'm going to undo this. And set this again to a half inch. So at least I don't get the error. And if I want to do a down over down, again, this is at uh, 11 feet, this is at 10 feet, I'm going to draw the horizontal piece of pipe directly between the two. Again, one inch, set my elevation between the two. And now I have this, but again, that pipe has been sized down. So we'll have to do something about that. A return bend. Again, we'll have to come up actually you know, higher than uh, this 11-foot uh, um, pipe. Start here and just modify it. So now we have this arrangement, but as with the others, we will have to adjust this and then we can move on to the next connection. Now that's 
fully manual. If we were to use Revit's connect into tool, we'll go here, connect right into that. You don't really get the option of setting the elevation of the horizontal pipe. So it just goes right to the pipe you selected and it's going to try and force the entire assembly, not just the pipe connected to the head, to whatever diameter your head is. So then you have to size it up. So you have to pick which one uh, would present the least amount of work for for uh, for for you to get to your your end product, your to the end of your task here. And again, in either case, you're going to have to do this all one at a time. And you know, looking at it this way, you can easily tell why. Whenever we were developing AutoSpring RVT, we you know, we really because connecting heads is such a common need why we built a tool that could handle multiple connections at once control the pipe all the way down to the head and of course you know different sorts of arrangements rather simply